Dynabrace has a complete line of abrasive belt tool post grinders. These machines are available in 230 volt, single phase, single speed versions with speeds from 4500 to 7200 surface feet per minute. 36 inch and 48 inch by 2 inch wide belt lengths are available. We also have variable speed models in either 230 and 460 volt three phase with speed controllable between 2,500 and 10,500 surface feet per minute. These units use 48 inch by 2 inch wide belts. Dynabrace air tool post grinder features a 1.86 horsepower air motor running a 1.5 inch by 24 inch belt. Mounting to standard lathes, this unit can be used on metal, glass, stone, rubber, ceramic, carbide, composites, and other hard-to-grind materials. A special mount allows the pneumatic tool post grinder to be used for facing applications. These units can be run wet or dry with a vacuum cover available for dry operation. Units come with a coolant nozzle with a flow valve and a coolant tray to direct the used coolant back to the lathe center. Our cutaway design allows working into workpiece shoulders for parts that cannot be perfectly centered or just need to be polished. Dynabrate offers slack belt attachments. Our tool post grinders are ideal for refining the finish on a part to an even appearing finish and sizing parts to within one or two thousandths of an inch. If an exceedingly consistent finish is required, consider Dynabrate's new 64,000 Super Finisher. Dynabrate's new Super Finisher is the ideal machine for creating repeatable or fine finishes on cylindrical surfaces. Usable with either conventional abrasive rolls or diamond abrasive rolls, this machine has been designed to maximize your abrasive media. Once an abrasive recipe has been developed, you can replicate a finish at any later time, simply by using the same abrasives and settings on the machine and lathe. Always presenting fresh abrasive media allows the super finisher to accurately repeat its previous finish. Dynabrain designed this machine with speeds compatible with the new diamond abrasives available. The Dynabrain super finisher can be built mirror image meaning it can be configured for the front of the lathe or back of the lathe mounting. The control box can be assembled with the controls on either the left or right side for operator convenience. The control box can be mounted remotely from the super finisher to position it at the lathe control center utilizing an optional 15-foot flexible conduit. The machine can be set up for 1-inch, 2-inch, 3-inch, or 4-inch abrasive rolls with easily changed contact wheels. These contact wheels are available in 50, 70, and 90 durometer based on the customer's application. The oscillating contact wheel is counterbalanced to minimize vibration and its effect on the finished surface. There is a timer that tracks the amount of time the unit oscillates to facilitate proper maintenance on the oscillation mechanism and the roll feed system. A precision regulator controls the contact pressure of the contact wheel on a one-to-one -one ratio. The reading is the actual pressure applied to the workpiece. The mounting bracket has a ground face making setup simpler and less strenuous. You can mount the super finisher to the lathe in less than five minutes. The control knobs for abrasive feed speed and oscillation speed have detents so settings can be repeated exactly for each setup. There is also less chance of accidentally changing the settings by bumping the control. No tools are required to load the abrasive onto the super finisher. A simple system using pressure between the take-up wheel and the feed wheel makes the loading easy. Once the super finisher is set up and the traverse and speed are programmed into the lathe, simply turn on the super finisher and advance the contact wheel and activate the oscillation to begin the finishing process. Once the first pass is made with the contact wheel oscillating, the operator can examine the scratch pattern. If any straight scratches appear, the traverse rate should be slowed for a more aggressive abrasive used. The abrasive grit size is reduced in half for the next step. Alternate passes with and without oscillation with increasingly finer abrasives until the desired finish is achieved. No oscillation provides a contrasting linear scratch for determining if previous scratch is gone. Once the recipe for the process has been established, the finish can be replicated whenever needed. In some applications, an interrupted scratch is desired to help lubrication to travel along the surface. If this is the case, the final pass should be made with the super finisher oscillator. 